What's up, everyone? This is the Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox 64. Last time we went through Balsay, the satellite surrounding Venom, and in this episode, we are at Venom itself. So we are taking the fight right to Andros. You gotta get through his entire world, though, just to reach him. But we'll reach him, no doubt. Also, lasers, yes. Now I got my blue lasers again. I take it out on you, Falco, but... <laughs> Use bombs wisely, you say? I wasn't sorry about that. Like this! <laughs> uh, you gotta have that somewhere in a Star Fox LP. Alright. So you can go either left or right in this case. I just decided to go left just cuz. Alright, then I'm going right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you shoot me back. Alright, let's go left. Shooting up more crap. So I think I'm doing a good job. Also more dudes. Also bonus. Yay me! Also more guys right at the ground. Take that guys on the ground. Ah, Slippy! Then I'm going right! Uh, where? I don't see any- Whoa, hi there! Alright. Alright, you wanna play that, Andros? You wanna manipulate the ground? You know, I can do maneuvers too. And I can blow up dudes, guys. I can blow up dudes, guys. I can blow up guys too! Andros. Yeah, right. We can take you on. Possibly. What? I don't see anything. Oh, hi! They're moving statue! Yay! Inca Temple! Boss time! Also, lasers that I actually don't need. Shoot the guy, shoot the guy. Yeah, when Peppy says stay alert, you want to stay alert. Because this guy, he doesn't mess around. Also, Slippy, where's my analysis? There you go. Wow, he's almost dead already. Alright, if I can just shoot the head, I think I got him. Ah! How did I avoid that? Oh, am I still supposed to shoot the arms? Speaking of which... Come on. What else am I supposed to shoot? Oh, his arm. Okay. Ow. Can I shoot the head now? Apparently not, and boosting's not the best idea. Ow, 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 I'm gonna die. I've lost both of my wings. Mark, are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? What am I supposed to shoot? Oh, I'm supposed to shoot the chest. Great. I'm about to die. Go me! I'll go it along from here. Fuck! And somehow I have two fully functional wings again. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. 
Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, lasers. Ye. Know that I control the galaxy. Okay, health extension. I'm not sure. Yay. Foolish to come against me. Okay, and lasers. Can I maybe? Okay, I can shoot the lasers. Die just like your father. Shut up, Andros. I can take you on. Now that I'm actually kind of recovered. And have full lasers! Hi. Alright. So now we fight off against Andros. The key thing to aim for are his hand. I would recommend going for one hand at a time. Whoa, what the? Huh? What's he doing? Whoa! Uh, what the hell? I have never seen that before! What the heck? I have never seen him do that! He is freaking Mizar! <laughs> oh my gosh, Andros is Mizar! It all makes sense now! Uh oh. Uh oh, 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 no, 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 it usually works, but if it doesn't, then you're really screwed because it takes out both of your wings and thus... Damn it. Sometimes a smart bomb will work, but I think that only works once uh, he has no arms, no hands left. I'm pretty sure that's the only time using a smart bomb works. I'm just gonna go ahead and let myself die. Because it's really, really difficult. I don't think it's worth it to try to kill him at that point. So. That not kill me. That somehow did not kill me. That did. Don't worry, Fox. You have nine backup. Far away. Ow. Alright, that was my own fault. At least, though, they're very generous. They give you three gold rings and double lasers. So there is that. And plus, this way is a straightaway. Which is really helpful. There's no branching paths. Like Shut up. Give me my extra. Give me my gold ring. Give me my lasers. And I'll show you just what it means to be a part of Star Fox. As long as you don't cheat. Alright, come on. Yeah! Woo! Alright, focus on the other hand. Which I'm somehow not getting. Woo! No, 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 I'm sure this is gonna work. Aha, it did. And then while he's busy eating... Shoot the hand, shoot the hand, and boom. That's a good thing, he just stops. To just chew... Him. Chew what he absorbed. Ah! Uh, what the heck? 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 No! You are an evil mad scientist. You will not be eating me this day. I will shoot you down, you monster. And down goes the evil scientist Andros. Until he suddenly has a mechanical head. 
that likes to ambush me. Yeah! Take that. Where are you? There you are. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Seizure! Wow, the robot head was easier to take care of than I remember it being. Oh well. With that, the evil scientist Andros has been defeated. Will Fox make it out? Of course. He's the main character. Plus, how would he be in Smash Bros. if he wasn't? Ganondorf! But whatever. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. And thus we have saved the Lilat system. We have defeated the evil Andros. Brought an end to his empire. Have liberated many a planet. And on board the great Fox, we leave Venom to head back to Corneria to reclaim our reward. Well, this has been a really interesting project. To be honest, I mean, I barely played Star Fox all that much before going about this. I mean, you guys saw, or some of you possibly, have seen three gamers messing around. My other Star Fox, one of my other Star Fox videos. Um, you can tell how bad at the game I was back then. And just kind of in small preparation of this project, uh, doing Star Fox Submarine, you know, it's very easy to learn this game. I mean, yeah, it takes going through the tutorial kind of getting used to everything. But in all honesty, I mean, Star Fox is a real easy game to just pick up and play. It doesn't really take all that much time to learn if you're willing to learn how to play the game. Really, it takes almost no time. I mean, you could get through Venom if you go to the easy path on the first playthrough and not game over. I mean, that's how, I, how confident I feel. If you're really determined to learn the game, I mean, you don't even have to be a real big expert at it. I mean, you kind of saw some of the stupid mistakes I did. You don't have to be a master at the game to get through it. You really don't. So, I know it's on the Virtual Console, so if you want to go get Star Fox 64, go ahead and buy it off the Virtual Console. I highly recommend it. That's not the version I use, though. I actually am playing this on an N64. Just FYI. But... It's still a rather fun game. And we have a bit of an ending scene. So I'll go ahead and be quiet right now. Star Fox, we are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. Another good thing about Star Fox is how short the game is. How many times you could play through it. There are a ton of different courses to get through the game. There's a lot you can do. I mean, this is one of those games in which you can just play multiple times just to see how many different paths there are. Really, there is no, like, major story changes, it's just the journey is different. And I kind of like those games, I mean, I don't really like games that have big, diverse endings. But if the journey can be diversified, if you can take multiple paths to reach your destination, things that can be different, things that make each playthrough unique. You know, I very much enjoy those types of games. And Star Fox really falls in that criteria. 
So, if you're if you like those types of games, if you like kind of adventure shooter type games that aren't like dodging massive amounts of bullets, I mean, if you're into Toho, good for you. But if Toho is all you're interested in, don't pick up Star Fox. You can clearly see. But if you're just into a pretty good shooter that's a bit fast paced, then but not really too fast paced, not, not a whole lot of bullets flying around, give it a shot. I highly recommend Star Fox to those types of people. And as we fly off into the sun, the Lilat system is safe once more. We can all rest easy now and know that the evil Andros is no more. He'll never once again terrorize the Lilat system, especially in 1996 Nintendo. Or will he? We're not done just yet. We still got a planet to get through. So until then... <laughs>